Aloha everyone, this is Lenora, Hawaii's pickle lady. Today I'm going to teach you how to make black bean spare ribs. It's a very popular thing, especially in dim sum restaurants, they serve this. So what I have here are some uh, spare ribs that are cut thin and you can cut it between the bones. These, some of these are very soft. They don't have too much bone, so I can cut it. Okay, so I have about two pounds of meat here. So I'm just gonna put it in the bowl. And this recipe is quite easy. So I have here um, some dried mandarin oranges, the peels rather. And you can just do this yourself. You just take a mandarin orange and you peel it and you only use the skin and then you just air dry it or you can put it in the sun and in a few days it'll be dry and hard and you can just keep it in your cupboard this will keep for years it will never spoil okay so what I have here I soaked it for about half an hour so what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to cut it julienne as thin as I can and yeah you can make it a little bit longer than half hour um, if you want just overnight so you don't have to worry about it and then just cut it up like this it gives it a different kind of taste when you do this most people don't put it in but I think it adds something to it okay so you just put that in there now the other thing I have is black beans salted fermented black beans so it comes in a container like this okay now the black beans what I've done is I've just put some water in it and kind of swished it around to get rid of a lot of the salt and then I just drained it out I put it in a strainer and then put it in a bowl so I'm just gonna mash it a little bit some people chop it all up but I like to have the taste of the beans so I don't smash it that much, okay? So just smash it up a little bit. You don't have to do it all the way. Just to kind of release some of the black bean flavor. Okay, that's enough. Now I have all the ribs cut up. So all you do is you put everything in the bowl. The black beans. The peel. Some garlic. Some oyster sauce, some soy sauce, some cornstarch, a little bit of sugar, some sesame oil. See, this is really easy. Um, I've cut out a lot of the steps. This is some Chinese wine, or you can use any other kind of wine. And some minced ginger. And now all you do is you mix it up really good. So just mix it up. And isn't this simple? As long as you have all the ingredients ready, you can eat in less than an hour okay we're just gonna mix it up real real good okay now I have this dish here and my wok which I will use and all you do is you put it in a dish okay just pour it in your dish so I'm just gonna arrange it you know, ideally, you don't want it stacked one on, on top of the other, but uh, no space. So we just got to put it in and kind of uh, make it nice. Okay, now I'm going to put it into my, uh, the wok, which is act as my steamer. And as you can see, I have a rack in here. And I'm going to put this in because if I put the hot water in first, I'll burn my hands. So I'll put this in 
And then I have here a kettle of boiling water. So I'll pour this in to cover the, uh, the rack. The water is boiling. So now I'm going to cover it and let it steam for half an hour. So we'll see you then. I'm going to show you alternatives to steamers. Now, if you use a wok and you have a bamboo steamer, you don't need the rack. But you have to make sure you have enough water, but not touching. So you have to check the water level every so often. And I happen to have a three-tier steamer, bamboo steamer. It generally comes with two, but I bought an extra one because sometimes I make more things. So if you were to do this, you would boil the water and then you would place this right here like this, as many tiers as you want to. You, you can buy this in a Chinese stores. Sometimes Chinatown doesn't have it, so you have to look around, but we have some in the, uh, in the link, okay? The other one you could use is a regular steamer like this, and they, it comes in all kinds of sizes. And there's a pot on the bottom that you put water, and then you can put these on, and you can use it. Now, if you don't have any of these, then you could also use a big pot, and then uh, maybe put the bamboo steamer on top, or you can put it uh, a rack underneath and a bowl, and then you can steam it like that. So these are just some suggestions. Okay, the ribs are done. It's been half hour. So I'm just taking the cover off. So I'm gonna have a hard time taking it out by hand. So I have this little handy grabber. And presto, out it comes, perfect. Okay, so now I'm gonna taste it. It looks really good. Looks like the restaurant, but of course, restaurant has small bowls. And that gravy is really good. So I'm just gonna taste a little piece. So you can see everything in here. Like I said, you didn't have to chop up the uh, black beans. It already comes like this, and it's good. And then the orange, you can see the tang. I said mandarin peels, but actually when you, you make these uh, peels, I said mandarin peels, but Generally, it's made with tangerine peels. So whether you have mandarin peels or tangerine peels, it's the same thing. And like I said, all you have to do is peel it. Uh, just break it in a piece if you want, or you can leave it whole like that. And I've just left it out in a, in a dry area. Uh, but if you have sun, you can put it out. But it's not necessary. And when it's ready, you'll know because it'll snap. And if it's not dry enough, then it'll be kind of soft. And if you keep it like that, like I keep it in a plastic bag, if it's not dry enough, then it will be moldy. So you got to dry it really good. And there's not too much fat that came out, I'm surprised. But if there was, you can uh, take it out. So I'm going to put more on it because I added some rice. And like I said, it's really good with rice, the gravy. Anytime I have something and I make it, I love the gravy. <laughs> okay. The rice is hot. We just made it. Mm. Perfect taste. Everybody will love this. And if you went to a Chinese restaurant, you'll say, hmm, tastes just like that. Really, really good. So let me taste a tangerine peel. Mm. Tangerine peel gives it a little twist, a little kick. Really different. Mm -hmm. So, remember, if you like this video, don't forget to smash that like button. Comment and subscribe if you haven't because it helps my channel. And don't forget to click that bell so you can be notified when we make great videos like this one. Mahalo and thank you for watching and see you on the next video.